everybody, you know what I want to see all of you? I think there's a nice big crowd out there. And uh, this uh, opening ceremony, we start with a happening. The really shows the strong traditions that you have in Spain for crystal Lovecraft. So, that should be a video. video. In the current region of Castilla La Mancha, in Bacon province, are located the remains of Roman city of Segovia, where we can find now the archaeological park, where you can visit one of the best archaeological sites and tourist areas of Spain. This ancient Roman city is holding on to this theater, amphitheater, circus, spa, and extensive forum, among other buildings. Segobriga, like other cities and deposits of the region, owes its prosperity and urban splendor to Lapis Specularis Mini, also known as Gypsum Crystallite, which was exploded during the Roman Empire. Because of that, Segobriga was one of the most important urban centers in this area and the best example of Roman way of life in Islam. Lapis Speculation Mining and its industry is distributed over a vast area of about 100,000 Roman bays along the sea, where hundreds of mines were working continuously since the beginning of the empire during more than 100 years. Lapis Specularis was explored continuously every time at the beginning of the booming first century. or a stone mine abided in Gibson or Selene. Thanks to its transparency and workability characteristics, lapis specularis could be cut into art pieces that form crystal seeds, and it was also used as a thing. Besides that, they used it to build greenhouses or for decorating floors and walls of house and monuments. Consequence of her brilliance and reflection. In his natural history, the Roman naturalist, Pliny the Elder, describes the rightness of these underground mines and the purity of their crystals. It could also be obtained in Cyprus, Cappadocia, and Africa, and in Italy itself, Sicilia and Bologna. The still the best quality crystals, the largest about 2 meters, and the most transparent were the Hispanic ones, and from here were distributed throughout the Roman world. No wonder, blind the other, in his book 36, chapter 1, while he described the huge work undertaking the mines to get the crystals, he also classified this activity as the best example of human folly of this time. Thank you. 
Right now, we're going to watch an historical recreation that will show you how Romans work with, with Egyptian crystals. I mean, the since records, we present the cut, the crystals, and escalate them. Now, we can see three Spanish with Santibara origin, professional miners who work in mines. Thanks to archaeological and historical investigation about that, that period, we know that they used to dress short tunics, normally in dark coats, being usual to wear clothes made with sparkle grass, such as shoes, knee pads, belts, and even hats. Sparkle grass is a vegetable favored among them in gypsum areas. The soaking baskets where lapis specularis is transported are made of sparkle grass. The same happened with the ropes that they use in saps to extract the mineral. We also know that these minerals are mostly free people and they supplement their run rate activity at mines with their agricultural works. Once Egyptians were classified by size and quality, were used after being made with seeds, once categorized, categorized by length and quality, the crystal were fixed to the same size in order to be ready to use. The seeds we can see right now which are going to be used for the recreation are worse than they used to work with because this one came from sulfide dams where atmospheric conditions and time more than 2,000 years have modified them. With the help of a workbench for a better support and using some templates of crystallized size that make easier making your own marks with a metallic marker Use it as a stylus, the crystal sheets will be outlined with an incision. That mark of orientation was used like a guide to know where they should cut with a metallic saw, similar to the saw pencil. Using, using it this way, they obtained a standard model with different shapes and sizes. Always multiplied of Roman feet. The crystal used to be cut easily with a shoe, keeping a mark made by the shoe, by the shoe feet in the side of the cut, but they could be sent down after making the cut to high cut marks. It's possible that they also use spring crystal salt of mine. Right? Jet driver gets over similar device with mechanics driver. At the very moment that they obtain the model, normally with rectangular or quadrangular frames, it should be separated into plates as slim as they want. To do this, they use metal rules that make possible to escalate as a crystal seed following the natural solution plane. This last action was made in a place where the crystal was flowing in the region. Lapis specularis was normally used during the Roman period for glazing or for architectural closing space another kind of large windows. As a cover material, this crystallized gypsum could be used as big panels made with the same piece of crystal. But they usually assemble different crystal seeds in good frames, as we can see now, because it was cheaper and effective.
next Sunday. Next Sunday, on the 28th of August, among the other activities planned for this Congress, we also plan a day trip by bus. You should probably put your name down if you want to go. It could be a visit to the Roman city of Segovia and the Roman line of Gibson called La Mora Encantada. The Enchanted Nuris, located in Torre Confino del Rey, Cuenca. We will, we will also have the opportunity to watch another historical recreation. At the same time, near the city and the Roman mine, you could visit a typical wine cellar where we will taste the Spanish meal and a wonderful wine tasting. We invite you all to go. And we promise you will enjoy. Thank you very much. Danke schön. Mexico Flug. Grazie. Muntumes. Estate casas.